Jay Drone here. Check it out. This big bird here is the DX4 from BAM, Sharper Image. Um, this is a Walmart drone. I'm sure you were able to get them in Toys R Us. Toys R Us is no more. We're going to give it a flight review. I've had this for quite some time. I lost the original charger. The original charger is just a micro to USB, but it had a little LED light on it. So I just charged this up and let it sit for like two to three hours. So hopefully the battery is charged. As you can see, we're dealing with a little bit of wind. We'll see if this will be able to deal with the wind. We do have three different speed rates. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. We have white lights in the front, red in the rear, and that's the way it should be. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. We should be bound down and out. We'll not fire these motors. No, it won't. We will go uh, automatic takeoff. There we go. So the little bit of wind that we have, we are in the third speed setting. This thing's able to fly back on it. And we're just gonna give this a good fly. We're gonna give this a good fly. It is an altitude hold drone. You should be able to find these really cheap now. now. As you can see the controller here, we do have a spot to put our cell phone and the wind's taking it back there. We do have a spot to put our cell phone. This is app enabled. You can uh, get Wi-Fi FPV on this. We could also probably throw an AIO. AIO all-in-one camera on top of this. My preference of choice on AIOs is the AKK 200 milliwatt. That'll give you most epic range. I'm not sure the range on this controller. Um, we'll go ahead and press it. We'll go ahead and try it. <laughs> As we fly with the wind, this thing gains great pitch, so I'm gonna have to go up a little bit. Um, we'll take it over here, and then we will bring it back. So I'm connected all the way out there. That's past the 100 meter mark for a toy grade drone. 100 meters is great. Uh, once you get past the 100 meter mark, unless you have FPV equipment on it, uh, 5.8 gigahertz FPV equipment on it, you don't want to rely on Wi-Fi at 100 meters on toy grade. If you have the 5.8 gigahertz on it, then we can start testing the true range of the controller. But a 100 meter run test is a safe range because past 100 meters, what are you doing? You're really not doing much. It's really not that fun to fly because uh, you're chancing it, hitting something uh, with uh, poor visual perception, loss of orientation, et cetera, et cetera. So this thing flies really nicely. I know, uh, I know the review that I have out uh, has lots of views on it. Uh, that's that way. I've that's the reason I figure I'd revisit this drone. Obviously, there's some interest in this drone. I know some people said they had poor or mixed results with this. Myself, I haven't had any mixed results with it. There's a little look at, ooh, easy there. Pitch rate is great. You're gonna lose, uh, you're gonna lose some altitude on this pitch rate in the third speed setting. Uh, I think we could probably fly out here in the second speed setting. Let's get this down here. I also wanna show you the yaw. Y'all wanna see the yaw? There's a little look at the yaw in the third speed setting. Um, we will bring it back over here and as we, I kind of want to fly towards myself so you can see that pitch rate. Let's get it up a little bit and get it back and fly towards myself. Bam. Should have been able to see the pitch rate. We'll bring it back for you. Bam. There's the pitch rate and we'll do it once more as we are losing altitude. Bam. So it has a nice pitch rate. It has a nice rocking horse to it. I've dubbed that the rocking horse test. Um, we'll bring it back here and we will throw it in the first one and we'll show you night and day difference and how you do that is just by this button right here we are in the first one now and as you can see our rocking horse is not so rocking uh, it does not have a great pitch rate uh, yaw rates extremely slow as I'm trying to turn this around we are however able to fly in this wind in the first speed rate um, kind of kind of it's coming it's coming you're not eating it uh, like you were in the third speed setting and we will bring it down here just to show you the y'all y'all want to see the y'all in the third uh or in the first speed rate bam that's y'all it's extremely slow i can't deal with that y'all <laughs> it is so slow but again that's the first speed rate so uh that's almost to be expected let's go ahead and put in the second speed rate we are in the second speed rate as it went dee dee and now we can fly against the wind with ease and again these uh the dx4s uh a lot of people knock walmart drones they're walmart drones yes you're gonna pay a little bit more high retail because it's grab and no grab and go have it now versus amazon where you can uh where you can buy something get it cheaper and get free shipping if you paid for prime 
Uh, there's different reasons why retail is higher because there's a lot of shipping involved. It has to ship from uh, Sharper Image to, to Walmart facilities. Walmart has to ship it to their Walmart facilities. They gotta pay people to put it on the shelves and then you go grab it and you can have it now. That's the reason the price is a little bit higher so you need to consider that. Instead of knocking, Walmart drones. Sure, it's not brushless. It's not true 5.8 gigahertz FPV, but if you had, if you were jonesing to go get a drone and you wanted one that's going to fly decent just to get, just to get some flight out, you might want to pick this up. Again, you're going to pay a little bit more. You could probably find this drone online a lot cheaper than you're going to be able to find it in Walmart. Thus, uh, the reason uh, of high retail high retail you grab it you have it you have it now you take it home you charge it, you fly it. you buy online you're waiting a couple days and then you have it that's the reason why you will pay a little bit cheaper let's go ahead and throw it into that third speed setting we are in the third speed setting now we are able to really whip around and you do you lose altitude uh, pretty greatly pitching forward although if you hold up on your left stick while pitching forward uh, it, it takes a little bit of while for you to lose the altitude that you normally would if you weren't holding up on this left stick. So hold up on the left stick, pitch forward, and it's still maintaining altitude. It wants to kind of go up. There's a little look at the range, which may were too high up. Uh, the wind, I'm sure, is stronger than that. I'm not going to really, really test it. We're going to pull down on a left stick, pitch forward. That's what I'm doing here. And the wind kind of wants to kite glide it. Kind of wants to keep it up there, but we're coming down and it's able to fight with it. And yes, if you took uh, if you took those prop guards off, one, you wouldn't chance it getting stuck in a tree if we decided to go over there and we hit a tree because they are tree grabbers. And two, this would probably fly a lot more agilely. Agile? Agilely. It's going to fly agilely. Um, the agility of the drone would be much greater as uh, as I've noted in the past taking guards off there's a little look at some funnels for you just because it's less weight and it's also less wind resistance um, the winds obviously passing over that and causing a little bit of drag we are bringing this back here we're still good we're still good on the lights now they made a dx2 i have a blue hat dx2 which i'm pretty sure is just a rebranded sharper image dx2 that has punch and range out the wazoo you can pick those up for like 19.99 all day um i'll try to find the cheapest uh prices for these on amazon obviously if you go to walmart uh you might pay a little bit higher but i think if you drive to your walmart right now now watch, finish watching the video. Don't, don't drive and watch the video, that's unsafe. But if you go to your Walmart, you'll probably be able to find the smaller DX2 for $19.99. I know I've seen them in my Walmart stores uh, for the past few months. I think they're just trying to move them. I think they're trying to move their inventory um, and that's the reason why they've knocked them down that low. And that's a very, very, very fair retail grab it and go price on that drone. I don't know that you'll be able to find it any cheaper online. Um, I would assume maybe you would, maybe on eBay or maybe on a Chinese site if uh, they're selling these on there. Nice flyer, man. And again, those LEDs are pretty small, but if you get over top of your head, you can kind of see them and I might be, I am blinking. I'm blinking right now. We're gonna fly it until it drops and hopefully it doesn't drop in that puddle. <laughs> um, just so you guys know exactly what this drone's going to do. Um, I'm full throttled up. It's sitting itself down. So as it loses voltage, it's itself down. It shuts down the motors. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell too. Then you can see all types of different drones that I do, some travel stuff. And there's a look at the controller, very well labeled controller. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments down below, get at me, subscribe, hit the bell later.